Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're going to reverse what we did in the previous video. Here we're going to show that the sine of theta is equal to e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta divided by 2i. And you might look at that and go, how in the world could that be? Well, let's take a look. We learned that e to the i is equal to the cosine, oh, I should say e to the i theta, is equal to the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. But what is e to the minus i theta? Well, e to the minus i theta is equal to 1 over e to the i theta, which means that this is equal to 1 over the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. Now we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate of that. And so this can be written as multiply this times the cosine of theta minus i sine theta divided by the cosine of theta minus i sine of theta. Like this. All right, when we do that, we get the following. In the numerator, we'll get the cosine of theta minus i times the sine of theta. And in the denominator, we multiply the cosine of theta times the cosine of theta. It gives us the cosine square of theta. The cosine of theta times minus i sine of theta gives us minus i cosine theta sine theta. Multiply these two terms together, we get plus i cosine theta sine theta. Make this a little bit longer. And then multiplying the last two together, we get minus i squared times the sine squared of theta. And then you realize, when you look at it, that these two terms cancel out. So we can get rid of these two terms. And then we realize that i squared is equal to negative 1, and negative 1 times negative becomes positive 1. So this becomes equal to the cosine of theta minus i sine of theta divided by the cosine square of theta plus the sine square of theta which of course we know is equal to 1, which means that this is equal to the cosine of theta minus i times the sine of theta. And so we're talking about e to the minus i theta is equal to this, and e to the plus i theta is equal to that. Now we're ready to plug that into our equation and see what we get. So the sine of theta we claim is equal to the i, e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta all divided by 2i. Let's see, that's true. So e to the i theta is equal to this. That's the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta minus e to the minus i theta, which is equal to this. So that's equal to the cosine of theta um, minus i sine of theta. All that divided by 2i. So now when we get rid of the Brackets, we get the sine of theta is equal to cosine of theta plus i sine of theta minus the cosine of theta plus i sine of theta, all divided by 2i. And then in the numerator, we realize we have a cosine of theta and minus the cosine of theta, so they cancel out. And we're left with the sine of theta is equal to i sine of theta plus i sine of theta, which is 2i sine of theta. And then when we divide that by 2i, we get sine of theta. So you can then see that sine of theta equals sine of theta, since we can write that uh, sine of theta right here. <laughs> I'm looking for the right equation. Sine of theta is equal to e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta divided by 2i since that simplifies to the sine of theta and that is how it's done.